So I figured today, um, while I am still recuperating from a very intense month at my day job, I would take you guys on a studio tour. I will try to keep this as um, not motion sickness inducing as I can. Does that make sense? Me, try not to make you sick. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I got my little captain hat on and we're gonna just take a little tour of my studio. So my kitties are here because they want to help me show you what my floor looks like underneath my carpet. My house was built in about, oh, are you coming up? Come on. All right, there we go. My house was built in about 1890, and I don't think anybody who's owned my house has really cared a lot about how they fix things. <laughs> but that's okay. We can fix it. Uh, I don't have good audio for this because the original audio is just my giant clompy feet. So, sparkle, sparkle, twink. So, I thought we would start off at the door. So, you can kind of see the overview all at once. Um, this is my desk. And this is my brand new printer. Printer! That I haven't set up yet. Where is it going to go? It's going to go right here. So, just to the right of the door, we have this secondary desk. And there's my scanner and my laptop and a bunch of books and right here in the blank area is where i'm hoping to fit my giant printer this is a canon p300 so it's pretty big yeah i'm hoping to have prints available on my website soon so my studio is filled with weird toys especially like weird looking vintage dinosaurs and things. I collect uh, Imperial Toy Company toys and it's also full of old cameras and bones. I also like bones for some reason and rocks. And here is a shot of these books in case you're wondering what's on this bookshelf. Lots of anatomy books and various things that inspire me and the sketchbooks from other artists. So I really wasn't sure how to format this and so as I go around the room I'm going to show you my original art collection. This is a really cool dragon from Eric Messenger and uh, I love his art. He does his art by making a big sploosh with uh, powdered graphite and then finding pictures in it and I will link his uh, social media below. I will do that for everybody that I show you their original art because honestly the art that I have in my studio is awesome. But yeah, isn't that a cool dragon? And he started out as just a blur. And right next to the cool dragon that you're not going to be able to see because of my light <laughs> are two really cute rhino sketches that were done by Thomas Ascot. And I love his art so much. It's so adorable. And I will link his stuff below too. And I feel really fortunate that I was able to get a couple of his sketches. Uh, I know they sell out really fast. So right here, waiting to be hung up. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? This is by Stephanie Law. She does a really cool endangered animal themed Inktober every year. And so I will link her stuff below and you should definitely check out her Inktober stuff. It's gorgeous. And again, I feel really fortunate that I was able to get that. <laughs> it's just, okay, we're gonna go back to it. Isn't it just so cute? Yeah. I really apologize that there's just no way to get some of my um, original art pieces to show without reflections in here. Like, I swear, like, in real life, it is really not this bad but like hello <laughs> so this is a big fat fluffy black cat um and i will link oh my gosh i just forgot the artist's name i'm so bad 
Oh, I love them too. They do these really cool, this is pen and ink. Like it's all just intense little squiggles. Isn't that great? And the cat's name is Noodle. So uh, not only do I have two black cats, but my nickname is Noodle. So I had to get this. And then above the kitty is this cute elephant shelf that I got at a garage sale. And it is full of weird Godzilla toys and old cameras. I love Godzilla toys. Isn't this just the funniest? That fry Ghidorah? <laughs> so then we go down and there is this really cool chest right here that right now is just kind of a plant holder <laughs> and then there is my very messy cat tree which I don't feel the need to show off especially and here's some plants some of which look kind of sad yeah I'm not Super great at taking care of this hibiscus. Oh, but it does have a bloom. That's my construction debris. Focus. Yeah, look at that pretty flower. It's more of a purpley, pinky color in real life, but it looks really red here. And another little chest that I got at a garage sale. And this is where I usually film myself if I do intros. Um, I need more shelving in here so like my shelves are just kind of stacked with stuff right now um here's another original art piece it's from kimberly crick i cannot like it took me five minutes to remember her name i'm sorry kimberly i think you're amazing and this is just the cutest bird if you haven't watched her videos you should because they're very very informative and her art is always super cute so, above Kimberly's bird is another shelf of just an unbelievable amount of stuff. And then my portraits of my kitties. The one on the left I have a video on, and the one on the right was pre-YouTube days. And uh, he's in oil. I don't paint in oil anymore. And if you look, he's got a snake on his hat, because uh, I used to have a snake. So that's my snake, Alice. She's no longer with us. She lived a long and happy life, but she's no longer with us. All right, and then turn in the corner. So this is just to the right of my desk. I'm trying not to trip over stuff. Is, <laughs> okay, so this is a lot of, a lot of stuff. Uh, lots of toys and art supplies and plants. We're going to start with the coolest thing, which is this really cool piece of art by Sprite. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it so cool? She really makes me want to do relief sculpting, so I am definitely going to try some of that this winter. Um, and then up here is all of my single tubes of various watercolor paints. And lots of markers and colored pencils and more paint and really, really adorable binder clips and brushes. And here's a half of a Stitch cookie jar. I also really love Stitch. Stitch might be my favorite Disney movie. <laughs> his, his bottom half or top half, his other half is broken, so he will never be... He will be used for paintbrushes forever. Uh, more gouache paints. Uh, more plant. I got this plant actually at a garage sale a few years ago. And at, yeah, I've somehow kept it alive. And this is my shelf of things that I want to get to next. And one of those things I want to get to next is actually this really awesome piece of stained glass that I've never hung up. So it's now going to sit out until I actually hang it up. This is, I think it might be chalk and I want to try to make a pigment out of it. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. So here's my desk. It's in a constant state of disarray. It has some dead plants on it right now. <laughs> they were kind of not doing well before they came to me. I will keep trying to keep them alive, but they're probably not going to make it. Sorry, plants. 
I am going to be starting restarting my um, daily gouache challenge with this little palette of stuff like this weekend. So tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm kind of giving myself a break. <laughs> More sculpting stuff that's ongoing. Sorry about the light. I'm blocking it now. It's my pasta roller. Boop, boop, boop. There is a work in progress of a oak tree fairy. I am slowly making the edges darker so you can actually tell that it's supposed to be glowy. Oh, and here's my Omar calendar. Yeah, I get one of these every year because he's awesome. <laughs> and then above my Omar calendar is just like super fun stuff that I can hang up on that little thingy that I got at Ikea. Um, more cameras. I also have a thing for vintage um, metal boxes like that. Um, and... Lots of sketchbooks. Here, let me move this cart out of the way. Lots of random books that I plan on eventually gutting and making into sketchbooks. This gigantic box is my here's some ideas to do box. Um, and this, I have a thing for <laughs> sets of encyclopedia. They just smell good, so I have one down here. Uh, here's more art supplies. And there's lots of sketchbooks over here. Doop doo. And there's a kitty. Uh yeah, if you guys are surprised by the fact that I like cats, you you I think this might be the first video you've watched of mine. Uh <laughs> there's a fizz gig from uh Dark Crystal. Uh, here's art from my nephew. I paid five dollars for this. I feel like it was a bargain. Isn't it cool? Here's art from my mommy that she made when she was in college in 1967. Isn't that pretty? I think that's so cool. Alright, we're going to do a cut here because otherwise I'm going to spin you all around. Okay, and then on this table is an absolutely disaster right now. Like, me and my friend are painting pumpkins for Halloween, so they're here. And those are a bunch of unfinished projects or paintings that I'm working on. There is a picture frame that my friend gave me that has art in it, but it needs to be backed, which I got a kit now, so like I have a backing stapler and all that. So I'll be able to do that. Um, and then some random bookbinding stuff. And then another shelf with cameras and bones and Godzillas. Um, and this is another piece of art. Okay, look, I'm going to stop trying to remember people's names because I can't tonight. Um, but I will try to link directly to this. Um, this is a reduction lino cut print and I know that you can't see it because of the light and I'm really sorry because it is gorgeous um three headed kitty uh it <laughs> makes me so happy and yeah so yeah and her art is amazing I will definitely link that and then over from my three-headed kitty is yet another shelf with yet more Godzillas and cameras and other derpy toys. And as we come down, there's a tiny. Tiny, what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing up there? Yeah, oh, hi, thank you. <laughs> oh. Tour now contains and includes a tiny cat. <laughs> oh, yes, you're floppy. So, here we have a whole bunch of random toys and stuff that need to get cleaned up, and some interesting shaped beads that I'll probably use in sculptures eventually. 
and this gigantic, awesome metal file cabinet. Like I said, I really have a problem. Like, I love metal file cabinets so much that has a lot of my sculpting stuff in it, and I'm not going to open it because it makes horrible squeaky noises. And then there's a flat file next to it that has a large watercolor paper and uh, actually it has a lot of art that I need to um, get framed and hung to, to um, like from other artists still. All right, so here's my closet. On the outside, it's got one of these cool rack things. It has a bunch of random art in it. Here's my very broken closet door that needs to be replaced. And here's all sorts of stuff in my closet. Lots of stuff to paint on. I tend to hoard like random things like this cool little polar bear I want to paint on. And these weird little boats that I got that I'm like, I could sculpt into that. And I'm like, that. I think that sounds fun. Um, mm -hmm. uh, picture frames to eventually put art into. There's a whole bunch of printmaking supplies down here that I don't use and I've actually never opened. I should probably give them away someday. I just bought these cool, like, these little bottles. I got them at Michael's today because everything's on clearance. It was for Halloween and apparently that's a Halloween thing. I don't know. Here's a box of random wood scraps I got at a garage sale because I was like, why not? There's also a ghost trap from Ghostbusters that I'm going to make a diorama out of someday. There's my easel and my other tripod. I have two. These shelves are so awesome. I got them at a garage sale when I was redoing my studio. Lots of art supplies. And look, if you are watching this video and going, I will never have that many art supplies. I've been collecting this like my whole life, so. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, you don't need this much stuff. Ooh, I almost like didn't show you how cute this little tiny metal file is. It's really little. Um, yeah, like that, like that's, it's my hand. And they're not big. Yeah, so it's just a little one. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh, I also have... So somebody at a garage sale gave me a whole bunch of, like, handmade, crocheted, like, awesomeness. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna... Clearly, I'm not gonna just throw that away. Uh, yeah. Alright. This concludes our tour. I hope you guys had fun, and I really appreciate you guys sticking around my channel. I promise I have art stuff coming soon. Uh, yeah. And I feel like because I've let you into my home, like, we should commemorate this. And maybe we'll take a selfie together. I've never used this camera before, so we're going to see how this goes. All right, everybody, everybody make a duck face. And here's all our pictures turned out. The one on the left is us. And the one on the right is me taking a picture of myself as I struggled to get the photo out of the camera. <laughs> Pretty great uh so <laughs> i just wanted to say again how much i appreciate you guys and i appreciate your patience this month as i was struggling just to survive uh through my day job and i will see you guys next week i'm not sure what day my videos are going to come out they usually come out wednesdays but i was thinking about switching that up so if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments. Also, I just turned 44 today. Uh, so I'm going to have a great weekend celebrating. Drop a comment and let me know what you're up to this weekend. Okay, bye-bye.